Hi, welcome to the demonstration of characteristics of electricity. In this demonstration, we will analyze and discuss how energy consumption can be effectively managed to protect our environment and how a technology can help change our attitude and habits in consuming energy efficiently. We will at the same time look at how in our day-to-day -day life we can use electricity efficiently to save money as well. Moving on, let's make a few predictions um, regarding the use of technology to change our habits and attitudes toward using electricity and to protect environment and ultimately to save money. Can we conserve electricity at home? I encourage you to make these predictions and write them down somewhere as we move along. The term vampire energy refers to the electricity many gadgets and appliances waste just by being plugged in. For example, dishwashers, telephone chargers, TV. After all, what do you think? Your cell phone, your dishwasher, Anything that's not being used when you're not at home does while it's plugged into the wall. If it's warm when you get home from work, then it means it's using electricity. All of these vampire appliances use electricity that could be saved by unplugging them or by turning them off. There are several reasons for someone to work towards something. There is a motivation behind anything we do. To conserve less electricity, our motivation could be for the betterment of the environment or to save some money on electricity bills. And it is undeniably very important. Um, how can we, in our day-to-day -day routine, save some energy or use less of it? Uh, or use it effectively. Have a look at the following screen to see some ideas for conserving electricity efficiently. As you can see from these slides, there are so many different ways we can use less electricity and turn them off when, when, when we're not using them. This will allow us to get in the habit to turn off things when they are not being used or to take the extra charger off or to turn off the dishwasher when it's not being used. These habits will allow us to get used to this lifestyle where we, do, we, we turn off the extra plugged in all day, we turn off the TV when no one's watching it, etc. And there are so many other examples. If we look around, we can come up with so many by ourselves. And I encourage you to look around in your house and see what else you can do to conserve electricity. In the next few screens, we will talk about using technology to conserve electricity. Usually there is a myth, the more technology you use, the more electricity you're wasting. But actually, we can use technology to conserve electricity and be smart about using electricity more effectively. If us are not able to conserve electricity on a regular basis, it's because we don't see the outcome of our actions immediately. There's a device that's called power cost, and it can be used to see the changes that you make in your lifestyle, and the results are immediately visible. This device is installed inside your house and as soon as you make a few lifestyle changes in using electricity more efficiently the outcome is visible and you can see the difference in the electricity bill in 2007 and 2008 some of the families participated in a program where they used this device on a regular basis and they cut down on their electricity bill quite a lot this goes to show that just be, just by being a bit mindful of our consumption of electricity, we can reduce the consumption quite significantly in our day-to-day -day life. This technology or this device does not reduce the bill by itself. It's only there to show us what small differences can amount to and how if we change our lifestyle and our approach and our attitudes in using electricity more efficiently, 
and wisely we can save up in so much on so much money as well as look after the environment we, we're living in if we all pitch in to conserve energy we can protect our planet for good all we have to do is try thank you for watching and listening